Hello and welcome to an awesome, awesome review. And today we're looking at the Halo Universe series Wave 2 Master Chief. Part of the Imperial Grunt build a figure wave. Comes with the lower waist of the Grunt, as you guys can see here. Nice purple, some detail on there. Not much to say. Gonna clip it right into our Imperial Grunt. And uh, he's he's getting there. Um, I do have the back piece now, which I will have a review for that uh, figure. It comes with it soon. Have some other things that I want to post. Might actually be another video later today, but that's besides the point. He does come with the pegs for the weapons. These are actually the ones that came with um, Spartan Veil. Vale, because as you can see, I actually already have his on him. Mostly because I wanted to put the sniper rifle on. And uh, yeah, it looks good. And let's start with the uh, weapon he comes with right here. Which is the... I just complete... I, I already knew the name of this. And it just completely went away. But it's that Promethium pistol, I believe. You know, you can charge it and shoot. In the game stuff looks cool uh silver top and like a almost like a brownie metally like metallic finish on the bottom it looks nice falls out of his hand really easily honestly so kind of annoying in that front but otherwise nice uh i don't think we've gotten this gun yet so it's nice to see something new added and of course the sniper rifle which can i just get this guy yeah okay Okay, he's standing. The sniper rifle. Let me take the peg off. As you can see here, it is different from uh, Linda's in the sense that it is a different paint color. Other than that, it's it's pretty much the same one. And I actually have hers right here. You can see hers is way better. It has the wolf on the uh, the side here. It has yellow in the end. This is just more of a... It's not even like a gunmetal color. It's just a really matted uh, dark gray with tan on it. I guess the little scope is a different color, but yeah, basically you got the same rifle going on. You guys want a closer look at it? It does look nice. I'm not gonna you know lie and say it doesn't look nice. I'm just saying, basically the same gun as that. Sorry, I'm tired. Uh, I spent like a few hours fixing my laptop, and it's like almost two in the morning. So yeah, uh, this Master Chief. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. Oh day re-released Master Chief. It's it's the same Mark VI armor from the last one. It's like, why why did they do this? And that was actually my reaction when uh, Day kind of announced this figure. And even when I saw it in the store the first time I saw it, that was kind of my reaction was, okay, he looks better, but do I really need another one? I'm, you know, I was thinking, well, I do want to finish the grunt and all that stuff. Do I really need another one, though? My answer is, Yes, this one is actually, in a way, better than the original. And I mean, in a way, because they both, you know, articulation-wise, are basically the same. But there are two key differences here. One, obviously, being the paint job. Uh, the paint job on him all over is just way better. Now, don't get me wrong, there is some issues with mine. I don't know if you guys can see right here on the lower left thigh. Um, Well, right thigh, but... Yeah, it, it has some uh, weird white stuff going on here. Like the green kind of went over and someone messed up in the shop. Didn't notice it when I got it, but it was the only one in the store, so it doesn't matter. The red here is gone. want to mention that because it's funny. Uh, in all the shots I found online, he doesn't have any red here. But the statue that came with the game, he has red there. So that's a little bit weird. He does have red on these... Uh, on these things right here. I don't know what those are, but I, it's not where his jetpack is. The armor's been like through so many redesigns that's kind of like, okay. But, um, yeah, so like any other Halo figure, his left arm and left leg don't have any armor when you get the figure, aside from the foot piece. You have to put it on. It's really simple, and the armor for the most part hasn't even tried to fall off on me. The thing that's falling off the most is the gun. He does have his butt plate, but the butt plate is sticking on this figure way way better than the other one i want to point that out because one of the main issues i had was that that kept falling off on the original one now the paint job as you can kind of see i'm hoping the camera's doing this justice uh aside from the undersuit which is dull by comparison we have kind of a shinier more metallic armor piece all the way around his chest uh his legs have you know they're, they're not as shiny but you can see there is still a nice metallic shine going on there and on the arms and everything else it it's not as vibrant as it is on here 
and on I would say like the uh, the front of his upper thighs right there were the silver brown silver silver black I don't know what color you want to call that is but you know it's it's what I wanted on the other figures it's what I wanted on Buck especially and uh, what I wanted on Orbiter was that shininess you know those figures both kind of slightly had it this figure has it almost all the way around now under the armor you can see here it's kind of just a regular undersuit nothing really special going on but it, it's not just that uh, one of the other big differences is the fact that they've actually painted other parts of his armor we now have the metallic silver right here on the legs metallic silver here on the arms on the side of the arms on the ar upper arm plate on the chest these are painted uh, a nicer silver on the old one they were painted just green we have the crack visor from after Locke punches him we have a uh, silver back here on like his little jet thingy even his little butt plate area is a little bit shiny and overall the paint job on this one is just so so much better and it's what I, you know I'm sure a lot of people wanted even on his boots we have a variety of green and uh, kind of that metallic-y, silvery color going on. So like I said, there are two differences. One being the paint like I just showed you guys. The next one being a little bit more uh, making the figure worth it, I would say. You know, sealing the deal there. And it's the fact that both Master Chiefs aren't the same. Uh, this one is in a different body. And he's in a taller body. And I, I don't know if everything is different. I know the legs for sure on these two are different. But I don't know if everything is exactly, you know, different. I want to say that the arm armor might be the same. The leg armor, I think, is different. The boots are definitely different. And I want to say that, you know, his uh, chest armor, although, you know, basically the same detail and everything, are different in the fact that this one fits a lot more snug. It looks more uniform. It looks nicer, unlike this one where it looks like he has, like, an overly big vest going on and snowshoes. Uh, you know, it, it was a good first try. It was a good first run at the character. I think Mattel did a good job with it. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people were kind of upset when they went to the sign because, you know, it's a bigger scale and, you know, they, they just weren't happy. This Master Chief, I feel like, makes up for it. I like this one. Don't get me wrong. I really do. This one is just the superior one and I'm happy that not only did we get, you know, better paint and everything with this re-release, if you want to call it a re-release, but we got a different body, and the armor looks just, a, it's, it's tighter, it's nicer, it's so much better that it makes it worth buying it and having two of the same Master Chief, albeit two of the same uh, armor types of Master Chiefs, just one with not just better paint, but a different body. You know, they didn't just cheap out and say, okay, you know what, we'll crack his visor and paint the armor on the old one and re-release it, save up some money. No, they went through the effort of giving us a different body. You know, they went through the effort of, you know, tightening the armor so it looks better. And I think that's awesome. You know, it shows that they are trying to make this line work. And I think they did a great job. So I applaud Mattel for that. I hope you guys, you know, keep this series going for a while because I definitely want a Mark V and a Mark VI armor from Halo 1 and Halo 2 to go along with this and you know any other characters and armor types you guys throw out there including recon armor to recon armor because it's recon armor but yeah aesthetic wise armor wise everything this figure just nails it I think it is a very good representation of Master Chief not my favorite armor but still a very good representation nonetheless it looks great i really like it i really enjoy it and yeah let's just get on to the articulation you know it's the next probably one of the most important things i guess it's an action figure and yeah although pretty much you know a different body it's i want to say more or less the same articulation as the old one which you know it wasn't bad at all actually it's good for what it is especially for a character that's kind of bulky like this now he can't really move his head up at all but he can look down a really nice amount he can look left and right and probably all the way around aside from the fact that the armor gets away and he can do slight pivots with his head like I mean, he's concerned right there he's wondering what's going on and uh i don't know 
nice just nice movement in the head i think that's good does that upper diaphragm joint right there left pivot right pivot can move back a little bit enough that it looks like he's looking up so you know if you guys want him looking up for whatever reason there you go you can move down a nice amount this is rubber so it you know bends with the body his arm can go up that high and it can rotate all the way around does have that upper bicep swivel which the armor kind of gets in the way but it, it also kind of doesn't because it is out a little bit he does have that single jointed elbow you can see here it's not the most impressive but for holding weapons and stuff it's not bad um i, I do wish they would make that a double jointed elbow just just to make things easier so you know you can have him holding his battle rifle just a little bit a little bit better but you know it, it for what it is it's not bad he does have the hinge at the hand does rotate and uh, he can kick out that far but i would say that's and actually aside from the fact that it's a little bit low but you know if you lean this leg back it, it's a little bit higher but you know it, it's not bad it's not going out to the side like we see a lot of other figures when you kick forward they do that no it, it stays forward and i like that he can't really kick back at all you know goes out that much i'm okay with it he does have double jointed knees that are a little bit tight i'm not gonna lie but they're there and they work good and he does have a pivot at the ankle and he can move his leg up or ankle up that far and foot back that far foot yeah words i mentioned it's like late it's, it's around 2 30 been at this for a while i mean i know this takes a lot of retakes when you mess up the line but yeah uh articulation wise it's what you would expect from one of these figures not you know absolutely amazingly great or anything but still really good really i really like it really enjoy it i was gonna say jike it i don't think that's a word and uh yeah let's do some size comparisons so here is master chief compared to the other figures in the way i've already reviewed with Bale being almost the same size as Chief, I don't know how accurate that is, but, uh, you know, it looks good together. I really do like that they're kind of upping the paint, but like I said, whereas they went, like, with this, like, nice kind of shiny paint throughout his entire armor scheme, although, like I said, it doles out near the bottom and the legs and stuff, it's heavily done in the armor. They only did it for that on these two guys, and I really wish they had gone, you know, the extra mile like they did, like they did with Chief here and then on the legs and the arms with Buck and Vale, especially Buck because I like the character so much and especially with Orbiter there in the back because I think like a nice shiny gold would have suited that armor so so good but either way they all look at it together let's move on to the next comparison here he is next to the Infinity War Iron Man and as you can see Iron Man is still too tall so Marvel Legends scale still not gonna happen never is gonna happen but in case anybody asks there you go and here we have Master Chief with the rest of Blue Team. And I gotta say, it just does look really nice. I mean, he, he is definitely the tallest figure here. Uh, the armor and everything just looks really good on him. And I will say right now, just as a side note, this figure was so annoying to set up. He fell over, armor pieces fell off. I I, I can still see why a lot of people didn't like just his, uh, his tooling, I guess you would want to call it. Because, yeah, things fell apart. Kelly, not so much. Linda, nothing. Master Chief, just the gun again. Fred, fell over, knocked everybody over, and dropped his uh, his butt plate. So there is that. But I, like I said, it looks really good together. I, you know, this is gonna be my new display. Not you know posed exactly like this. Someone's gonna be kneeling so he doesn't knock everybody over. But it looks good. I like this Chief. He's definitely going to be the main Master Chief in this display. You know, I'm sorry to old Master Chief here. And, uh, you know, it, it, you can see right there that he's, he's definitely feels like short. I mean, he is in the back. It is like a little perspective wise that he, he's still too short compared to this one. I didn't even realize how much shorter he was until I got this one. That's actually the amazing thing here is I just, I didn't realize how like not good, I guess he was until I saw this one. And it's not because he's a bad figure. Just the other one puts him to kind of shame, especially when you see like, the nice uniformness of the armor here compared to this which fred actually has going on there so i doubt we'll get another fred and the kelly and linda and nice shinier colors in like nicer tighter armor that fits better but we got master chief so i'm happy with that 
So final thoughts here. I think this is definitely a really nice upgrade to the Master Chief we got before. A few things that I wish were done better. You know, the, the double jointed elbows. You guys still need to do that. I mean, I get, you know, the way they hold the weapons and everything. But it, it really would help just a little bit to be able to move them. Maybe add in a butterfly joint so we can get the weapons held on a little bit better. Because that's still kind of an issue. And the ankle pivot definitely needs an upgrade because you guys can see here he he doesn't have his ankles flat on the ground either they're a little sideways um but definitely an improvement over this older master chief which like i said i i do like I, I never had a problem with him i don't want to stand right now even though he was just standing off camera there we go but you know it's just everything about the other one blows this one out of the water to be honest and something i didn't even mention until right now because i just remembered while i was taking uh, some b-roll is that his armor does have a little bit of a wash to it, especially in the helmet. You can see kind of a more roughed up helmet has a little bit darker spots and a little bit of a, I don't want to say shading, it's not shading, but just like dirtiness to it to show that, you know, the armor has been worn, especially in the helmet, not so much the body, but mostly the helmet. And I think it's just a nice added detail. So, you know, I definitely recommend this figure and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, uh, like button, comment down below, subscribe for more. And like I said, there might be another video up later today, depending on if I can actually get a chance to film it and edit it and everything. But uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye.